One day, I woke up in a hospital, and someone asked me, what's your problem? And I said, I'm an alcoholic and an addict. And he said, no, that's how you've been treating your problem. Addiction knows no class, knows no race, knows no boundaries, and it's a modern day crisis. More people are dying from overdose than anything else under 50 years old, and we're losing about 150 people every day. My dad's been amazing. This is about a family. It's about a relationship between a father and son. It's about how really no one is safe from it. My mom's been amazing, too. And so this account really brings us into that ground zero of it. It's hard to go to, but yet you leave encouraged that there's hope. I want them to be proud of me. The dream for this movie was always that it's a movie about not just addiction, but a movie about acceptance. This is kind of working out for me right now. I got five days so It doesn't look like it's working yeah. out, Nick. Oh, it doesn't look like it's working out? So what, no. the therapy, huh? You can come home. No, that well, wouldn't... Make it work, please, Nick. It hopefully will be seen by people and understood as being about encouraging love over judgment, love over shame, and to be loving when you are being challenged. This got out of hand, don't you think? Look, I'm 18, all right? You can't force me. And addiction has really sadly been cast in the shame pool of our culture. But the movie attempts to say addiction is not a moral failure. A lot of people still feel like addiction is a choice. Addiction is not a choice. I learned that lesson as a dad desperate to understand what was going on with my son. And the only way we're going to surmount that problem is when we recognize this for what it is as a disease. My son is out there somewhere. I don't know how to help him. You can't! The good news is, is that there really is a lot of hope. Recovery is possible, not only to recover from this thing, but to actually thrive after addiction. So we were in agreement that it was an important story to tell, and there was a real attempt to make it truthful and honest. That's what me and Timothy and everyone's hoping to portray.